Right, question six. Uh, a brick of mass M has sides of length A, B and C, where A is smaller than B and B is smaller than C. The brick is placed on a horizontal table such that the pressure exerts on the table is at its maximum. What is the maximum pressure, P, acting on the table? Which statement is correct? OK, so the first thing we need to look at is we know that the pressure is the force over the area. Now, if we've got a brick, let's just have a little drawing of the diagram. We've got our brick. And because we want the maximum pressure, what we need to, what we need to be able to do is... Um, in order for it to be a maximum, well, the force needs to be as large as it can, but the brick is the brick, so its mass doesn't change, so hence its weight doesn't change. Um, the only thing we can change is the area, i.e. which face we can lay it down on. So if we go to our, our brick here, um, sorry, uh, when we're looking at the area, then uh, in order to make the pressure greatest we need the area to be at its smallest so we can do that by having our two smallest sides or the face that is um, made from our two smallest sides at the bottom so we would want a being the smallest b being the second smallest and therefore c would be our upright one therefore the area that's down on the ground would equal a b and the force acting there will be mg so therefore my pressure is going to be mg over a b which if i come across there that gives me answer a